All right, folks, how are we doing? It's Shabash, it's Orna. Welcome to this Orna Legends produced Amity Guide. We're gonna go through the basics on how to find your first Amity, what even are Amities, all the way up to discussing our Amity hunting community sharing uh, party, <laughs> basically, which is like, you know, we've basically sussed out uh, how Amities work in the most part. So without any further ado, what is an Amity and how to get your first Amity? First things first, Amities are like lost powers of the fallen, of peoples who were in our areas before us. And it's an artifact that captures kind of that essence of the past in with certain powers. And basically we go on memory hunts to vanquish those kind of lost memories. And in return we get Amities, which are as you can see from here, we get bonuses and we get malices. I'm gonna go for this bonus here. And you see, once you unlock them, you get two, well, firstly you get one, and then if you go Oracle spec, you get an additional uh, Amity slot. So in order to start memory hunting and get our first Amity, you need to be at least level 75, that is tier four. And you need to start the, well, new characters will already most likely start the new Unfelled storyline, Rise of the Unfelled. You first need to complete Galar's blacksmithing quest, which asks you to uh, smith five items up in a blacksmith. So you do that, and then once you are level 75, tier 4, Pythia uh, comes up on the world map. So she'll give you a little storyline, and then she'll give you uh, the item that kicks off our first memory hunt. So I'm just going to run through the storyline here, and she's given us our first diluted mnemonic. This is a catalyst with an area's lost memories trapped within. Using it begins a memory hunt for shattered memories. And we have to basically complete this memory hunt and we will be rewarded with an Amity at the end. Immediately on accepting Pythia's quest, you will be allowed to build an Oracle Temple in your origin town. Now, the Oracle Temple is the main way to receive more diluted mnemonics. And we'll discuss actually how to obtain more diluted demonics right now. Now, please, the, the first thing to do upon building this is to upgrade it to level 10, because until you upgrade it to level 10, it's actually not guaranteed to receive more diluted mnemonics. This is the final level 10, and then we go to concurrence, and we attempt the ritual, and we boom, we get a second diluted mnemonic. And you can do this, you can see every 23 hours. The second way to receive diluted mnemonics from your Oracle Temple is actually to recollect uh, amities that you're not using. So essentially you use uh, three amities that you don't like and you kind of put them in here again and uh, you get a diluted mnemonic out. So I'm actually going to do this on my main character. I actually don't really like these uh, some of these amities up here. So that's select three amities, boom, recollect. They will be completely destroyed and we should receive one diluted mnemonic in their place. And boom, there we go. You can also get diluted mnemonics very rarely from your citadel as a reward from your townspeople. And you can also get diluted mnemonics as daily login rewards. You can see here, I think this is a tier 6 character, got two diluted mnemonics coming there in the second week. So this changes month to month. Some tiers will get them, some tiers will not. And I have to mention the kind of the final way really uh, of getting diluted mnemonics is probably Northern Forge events. You know, check out their the Reddit, the Discord, uh, even Twitter, there's other social media. They sometimes do like, you know, community events, design a, a cool character or a story or, you know, a new follower kind of thing. Uh, they start giving diluted mnemonics as rewards for those. Final thing on the Citadel rewards and the, the temple, you can very rarely sometimes get two uh, diluted mnemonic. So when that happens, yeah, it's like uh, it's a nice it's a nice day for sure. So now let's start our memory hunt. We go in our inventory into items, and diluted mnemonic is right there. So we use it, and a hunt can last twelve hours. So once we use it, we can actually, uh, if you are busy for a couple of hours, you can come back to it. One thing I, you have to be aware of is that the memory hunt only takes place within an area local to where you use the mnemonic. Don't go further than, you know, one or maybe two kilometers outside the area or you'll not be able to finish the memory hunt. Next thing, 
the memories appear on the items uh, map filter layer. So it's a good idea to kind of hide buildings and uh, events if you have world raids up. And uh, it's, I would like them to have their own layer, but you can see I have some shrines here at home for once. And uh, yeah, I don't want to misclick a shrine, uh, for example. So I want to show you quickly, if you go into your thing here in the menu, you can click on um, the kind of little blue compass and it shows you your memory hunt, the stage you're at, you see is one out of five. So there's kind of five stages to it. And basically what will happen is we find uh, mini games. So this is like the first memory we have to battle here. And there are different types of mini games, but for now this, this type of mini game, uh, we have kind of lost memories here to, to help us. I'm actually not so sure if I'll be able to successfully do this battle. But yeah, those kind of frozen blue guys there helping me out here, apparently. Questing man here, back from the dead. And uh, okay, let's see if we can kill these guys. We, on this particular uh, memory type, the, the portal, the battle, there can be from two to four enemies. It's just random. Uh, we did in fact die here. So these guys are kind of fighting the battle out for us, but uh, we're actually not gonna be able to complete this. The lost memories are a bit more powerful than I am, apparently. Okay, so defeat, but guess what? It doesn't matter, so I definitely meant to show you that. You can just go back in again. And, uh, okay, we'll come back when I complete this uh, first memory. Okay, boom, we, we just won the battle, and you get rewards for killing those, but then you also get rewards for completing uh, each stage of the memory hunt. Now, these rewards, all the way from tier 4 up until tier... 10, tier 11, the rewards are actually amazing. And you can actually find amities that scale up the rewards that you get for completing memory hunts. You can see here, tier six, uh, 5,000 orns, 45K experience, okay. Uh, but you get materials as well uh, for the first four hunts and uh, you, they level up every time. So the fourth hunt will be getting more and the final uh, node as well will get uh, uh, more rewards. There's always, basically what happens is there's always uh, one memory hunt that starts very close to you and you have to choose that one every time. And then after that, uh, there will be different memory hunts spawning around you and you can kind of choose whether, which one to go to. Now, uh, they don't actually matter what, which type of, uh, you can see there's a, you know, one pillar here, there's like a, an altar here. Uh, the actual type of these don't matter in the final amity that you choose. So we'll come on to seeds and uh, how the final amity is chosen based on you know what we know so far. For the purpose of this hunt, I'm gonna put some view distance on, put the brazier on from my keep and pop a torch on because basically what happens is these memories, they spawn in a wide area, as I said, around you. And if you have low view distance, you, you will only see the, the ones closest to you. But also the compass, the compass map filter that shows you the, the closest three memories to you. And the interaction range with the memories is 250 meters. That means you have to be within 250 meters to uh, work or to interact with the, the memories. So our second memory hunt here, okay, just do this one straight away. A uh, nice little pillar. This game, as I, get, as I said, I'll go through the, the games probably in the video. And you can see now we get 21,000 orns. And you know, we didn't even have to move for that. And that's a good point. This is supposed to be GPS content. However, I wonder if I can get this third one. No, I can't. Okay, I can get this one. The Every hour, the, the seed changes and the locations of the memories change. You might get very lucky and you might be able to complete a memory hunt without moving. That's actually very rare. Most of the time you have to move around and um, get out and about to complete memory hunts. Always stay safe when you're doing memory hunts. I've uh, got a funny story where we were looking at a memory hunt. I had to wake up at like half past four in the morning to, to find a particular amity. And uh, yeah, so just please remember to stay safe out there. And okay, that pillar is yeah too far away. Uh, that dungeon is probably too far away, but we do have a portal uh, close by. So for the purpose of this uh, kind of showcase, I'm going to yeah complete this portal battle again. Here we go. Completed that one. So we get our gold, orns, and experience, and materials. Okay, some, so the orns don't necessarily always go 
up there is ranges that they uh, go inside. And okay, now we're at the final step. We're at, uh, if we check here, we've completed four memories out of the five and the fifth memory hunt, we see these blue, crystal blue Arcanist buildings essentially. And these are called the kind of final nodes, we call them. Now I wonder if I can touch both of them from here because basically uh, we get a, a set of question and answers and yeah, so I can actually see both of them. So you can see here this question asking you when you are nearing defeat in combat, do you X, Y, or A, B, C, D? And the other question is, what do you wish for from the gods? Now, a little explanation here. We can only see, oh no, we can see four. Right, so we can actually see four uh, final nodes. Now, every single time you do a hunt, there is in fact a total of five nodes that you can see at the end. And that will be the same for, for that whole hour. Be careful, there's, in total there's like seven different questions, but sometimes you can see duplicate questions within the same hour. Now, let's just pick a question. What do you wish for from the gods? I wish for nothing. And it's on completing the final node where you get your amity. Now, skies and harm. Increase lightning damage by 15%. That's a bonus. And then in red, the malice, you are 7% more likely to be affected by a status effect. So there is a big list of bonuses and malices and I will provide a link to what we found so far uh, in the description. I will also make a video going through every single bonus and every single malice, discussing which, which is good, which is not. But you can see here, this lightning damage, this is actually quite a high roll for lightning damage. So if you are in lightning faction, storm force, this is obviously a really good amity. And then once you find your first amity, you can then equip it uh, from the equipment screen, much like any other piece of equipment. And you can check your uh, list of amities in the, uh, it has its own category in the inventory. So that is a nice example of a memory hunt because I didn't actually have to move and I didn't have to go outside in the rain. So I'm a little bit thankful, but also I wanted to kind of show you uh, moving around. So that's the basics of what amities are. It's a new piece of equipment. You have to use a diluted mnemonic to start a memory hunt. And then you go between memory uh, mini games and then you find the final node at the end choose a question choose an answer and you get spat out an amity at the end and you can get a diluted mnemonic in a few different ways at least once a day from your oracle temple and that is the basics of what amities are now we're going to move on to kind of more advanced topics to get a better understanding of exactly how amities are generated what causes the different amities to, to, to spawn, what is affecting that. So let's talk about amity seeds. And this term seed is basically what we use to describe like the RNG numbers that uh, govern which amity you're going to get when you complete a memory hunt. And again, got to thank especially Knight411 for kind of leading the research uh, on this topic, even uh, kind of proving uh, Northern Forge that they had a bug and their seeding wasn't necessarily working. Uh, now is it working as far as we know? And our knowledge is based on, you know, the current version of the game. Uh, what are we, mid-September 2022? So I don't know if they're going to change this in the future. And the seed depends on a number of different things. The first being hour of the day. The seed changes every hour of the day. However, it does sit within a weekly rotation. And that rotation happens the same time as dungeons. As you know, it's like uh, midnight uh, universal time, universal coordinated time on a Sunday. So every week the seed rotates and then for 24 hours, uh, the seed is different, but that 24 hours repeats itself for each of the seven days in the week. The next thing depends, very importantly, is the party. So. If you are in a party and somebody else joins your party and you do a memory hunt at the same hour and you choose the same question and answer from the same node, you will get the same amity. The final thing which determines uh, the seed is the final node question and answer. 
So in summary, hour of the day, I guess we can call it a weekly rotation, party, and then the final node question and answer. What we thought previously that you had to be in the same global like in IRL location, uh, that is actually not true. IRL location does not affect uh, what Amity you get at all. Being in the same party does affect it and that actually means that we can find the same Amity together regardless of where we are IRL. I can find something the same as uh, someone in Australia. If, they, if we are in the same party, we're in the same hour, we do the same memory uh, question and answer, we'll get the same Amity. Sorry, another thing that determines uh, the seed is actually your character tier. We're not 100% sure uh, if there's any crossover between tiers, between all of the tiers, you know, maybe tier four and five will have the same seed, maybe tier six and seven. We don't know, but we do know that more often than not, if you are in different tiers and you try and do the same memory hunt, the same final node during the same hour while in the same party, blah, 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 you will get different amities. While we are talking about tiers, let's also mention how tiers affect the bonuses and malices that you can actually find. Certain bonuses and malices are only available at higher tiers. We are still doing research into finding, you know, what is the minimum tier of certain amities that is in our Amity Guide spreadsheet. If you do find a certain amity at a lower tier than what's recorded, please let us know. We'll add that to our sheet. However, the numerical values of the amities do not change uh, through the tiers. Uh, a tier four can get uh, the maximum uh, elemental damage roll, which is 20%, as the same as a tier 10 player will also get a max roll of uh, 20%. So the numbers don't actually uh, increase as you go up the tiers. One point on the on the seeding is I want to kind of show you that during the same seed, the location of the memory hunts are actually the same. However, I'm literally on a new seed. So it's uh, five o'clock. It's just gone five o'clock, so the seed's going to change mid-hunt. And now you see I don't actually have any memories in range now. So I'm going to have to go and uh, complete this hunt outside. Good point to make now is that you cannot interact with memories via a way vessel anymore. Uh, they did change that, so you do actually have to go outside and tap the memory. So this pillar, this is a little memory game. I definitely didn't pause it to check the rotation again. So this will be a good example of showing how the seed changes uh, in, the, in the following hour because the location of the nodes change. So you can see this seed, we can actually see all five of the final nodes, one off to the west and then we've got one right next to us and then uh, three more towards the east. And again, we've got another question to the unfelt and then the closest node, what hangs above thy mantle. Let's go with nothing again, and we'll see, we'll find a different amity to the one before. This one, vulnerability and fragility, spells that opponents are resistant to will only be reduced to 80% damage. And then the malice, there's a 4% chance that ward will actually fail to protect us uh, every turn. So hopefully you get the idea uh, of how seeding works. If you have any questions on seeding yet, yeah, just let us know. Uh, we've got a lot of info in uh, the Orna Legends Discord, of course. But this seed will be the same uh, for this entire hour for everybody in the party. Uh, locations will be the same. Different tiers, I think they still probably get the same uh, like locations, uh, but just the empty at the end will be different. Okay, next uh, important thing to mention is how rarity affects amities. The rarity can roll uh, much like other equipment from, as, from the moment that you finish the memory hunt and you get your amity, it can go from superior all the way to ornate. And uh, superior famed are pretty much the same. They will have the same bonus and malice. And then going from superior to legendary, legendary will actually have two bonuses and two malices. So you can see this legendary has uh, two and two. And then yeah, finally, if it's an ornate version, you'll have three uh, bonuses and also three malices as well. Rarity is affected for the same seed. This is uh, actually something I can nicely show you here on these two circumstance amities. Uh, I don't want to get rid of that. So this was actually from the same seed. 
critical hits will be 40% more effective. The malice will change between rarities and the bonus is, the first bonus will stay the same, the second bonus will be the same, uh, you know, if it's legendary or ornate, and then ornate will add a third bonus. Ornate will have different malices to legendary and legendary will have different malices uh, to everything else. Basically what happens is the malices change between rarities. So if you go to the circumstance, you can see I've got the, that first bonus, the circumstance critical hits will be 40% more effective, then I've got a random second bonus, but the malices are different. You'll receive 25% less orns, negative status effects will last 10% longer. Go back and check, the malice here is the follower stats will be decreased by 10%. So that's essentially how rarity affects amities. And I think the final thing I want to talk about is Amity Hunter, which is our Orna Legends community uh, Amity Hunting project. So I'm going to go back inside and we'll catch up there. Okay, so let's talk about Amity Hunter, which is the alt party that uh, myself and the, the mod team on Orna Legends Discord server have created. It's the biggest community sharing project Orna has probably ever seen, as far as I'm aware. And it allows uh, players to hunt for amities and also share amities that we find. Based on the knowledge that uh, the seed uh, depends on the hour of the day, during the week, uh, but also mainly uh, being in the same party. So like Amity Hunter, it's the name of our alt. It stays in the same party for the whole week, which means all of the seeds are the same for the week for everybody who joins the party, right? Remember what we talked about. And I'm sorry to put a spreadsheet in your face, but basically this is the community uh, sheet. So what we do, we track uh, hunts every, basically for every, every hour, there's, remember, there's five nodes and each, each answer has its own amity that pops out. So we track that in this sheet. Uh, basics of it is we've got the question and answer here on the left. And then at the top, we've got time, uh, UTC time running along the top. And then each, each slot during the hour, we, we track what the Amity uh, is basically. So for example, uh, here at uh, 4 a.m. UTC time, uh, if you go to the specific node and you choose when in battle would you rather answer number three, seek alternatives, the amity you will get will be uh, defending reduces an additional 10% damage. So we, we do kind of paraphrase uh, just to save time uh, adding the description here. Now you see that legendary, the, the purple text, that's, actual, that's the legendary uh, version of the amity, the second bonus. You get extra 10% recovery from HP and mana. Now we do, and basically, so, so how do we use this to, to great effect? Basically, we find really nice amities, and then people who want that can come and get it, uh, is the short version. So uh, this one here that we kind of highlighted in gold, uh, plus 50% duration to positive status effects. That means things like Deific Channel, uh, triple attack and magic up from Lugas Gauntlets or Great Meditation. Those will last 50% longer. And... If you have two of them, guess what? The amities stack. So that's a really good one. The other one, of course, the one I showed you, the four, plus 40% critical damage, that is literally adding 40% damage to your build. Like that. You know, that's, that's a lot of power. So that's the spreadsheet. Uh, I want to talk about how you want to go about helping us, how you want to go about finding... Uh, some amities that we find uh, basically so first thing to know is this is geared currently geared towards tier 10 and tier 11 uh, as we said before different tiers more than likely have different amities um, I want to say like 99% of the time they are different so let's just consider that listen if you are a lower tier player maybe tier 9 player and you want to help out you want to do something similar like this uh, please get in touch uh, we would like to help lower tiers out. It's just the fact that a lot of the players at tier 10 are really focused on, you know, improving their build so much. Uh, so they have diluted mnemonics uh, to spare and they want to get involved, uh, blah, blah. But if there is 
uh, you know, people who want to set this up for tier nine, we're like, we would be happy to help facilitate that and run that on the Orna Legends Discord. It's just, we're, it's already kind of quite time consuming for tier 10. So I'm going to jump onto Discord now. Uh, this is the alt, by the way, Amity, Amity Hunter. You can see friend list is 100% full. It's not full, it's just always 100 people online. So Amity Hunter, uh, the channel in Orna Legend Discord, it is in our LFG category so you will need to read uh, the party rules to firstly gain access uh, to this channel and then we have a, a weekly submission thread and that the first message always pins to the sheet and I might not have mentioned it previously but there is not really a way to predetermine what amity you're going to find at the end of a hunt what we thought previously was if we did the mini games in a certain orientation or in a certain order that could actually um, tell us what Amity bonus we would get at the end of the hunt and we could target Amity's that way. That is not how it works. The, the order of mini games really doesn't matter at all. The only way to target Amity's is to, is basically how we're doing it, is to throw so much volume of people doing memory hunts in the same party that we, you know, we kind of scattergun approach, if you like, find as many amities as possible that on the back of that, for the, the, the following days of the week, for that time slot, for that seed, people can go and then on the back of that, find the same seed the next day, you know, for the rest of the week. And that's how we replicate amities. So people go, they do a hunt in the party and um, they do the specific time slot and then they tell you what the question and answer was, which node it was. Um, and then we log it in the, in the spreadsheet. So here they found stats are increased by 10%. So if somebody wanted this Amity, they would go check the sheet and then yeah, come back here. Um, yeah, one thing that we really encourage is actually to map the, the seeds during the hour. So if I go in this, screen chart here okay so here's one that i did last well this week map all of the nodes because uh, you can see here there's actually two dupes when in battle and also when in battle up in the kind of north northwest is uh, northwest version ah this reminds me kind of easier to to show here when you've got a, a screenshot of all the the final nodes the layout will always be the same for the seed however the location of the nodes of the final nodes are relative to the fourth memory hunt location right so if i finish let's say i i finished the final memory hunt and i was uh, the fourth memory hunt here on the screen and i got this layout for the final nodes if i instead had went to a fourth node and it was kind of down southwest this whole layout, it would look the same, but it would be shifted uh, that relative distance to the southwest. So I would actually be closer to the nodes in the north. So one thing you can do is if you know, for example, see that, uh, that question up here in the far northeast, unfelt R. If I wanted an amity from that node during the hour, and I know this is the, the layout for this, for this hour, the seed, I could choose a node, a fourth node, way in the southwest, and that would bring that node that I actually want for the final question closer to me, if you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, we really have to be careful that when there are duplicate nodes, I think the most dupes found is actually four in the same hour. The four nodes had the same question out of the total of five nodes that you can actually see, which is, yeah, uh, we need to be careful so we know exactly which node we're going to. Because the nodes, the amities can be, are different, even if it's the same duplicate question. If it's a different node, the amities are going to be different. So if you want to get involved with this, please uh, go in to Amity Hunter channel and, re and read the pins. We've got a kind of a procedure there that we wish people to follow. It's basically, we've got all of the mods on Honor Legends has an alt that uh, we can invite from to the party because uh, I'm not online 24 seven. And you need to ping Amity Warden in the Amity Hunter channel. 
Uh, I, we should have an example of that here. So yeah, these guys are pinging Amity Warden. And then you, if you haven't already, you need to send an ally request to uh, the alts, mostly Amity Hunter. I'm leading that, but then all the other ones as well, just depending who is online. And then you also need to message us in game because as you saw on the alt, I've got 100 allies online all the time. I'm not going to search through a hundred different people just to find your name. So if you message us in game, that has like a notification above your name that allows us to easily invite you to the party. So yes, ping Amity Warden in Amity Hunter channel telling us whether you are going for hunts for new Amities and new time slots, or if you are targeting a specific Amity, please tell us what you what you're going for and uh, then send us a message in game and uh, we'll get and we'll get you invited to the party as soon as possible. Just please have some patience, especially during busy hours. If you do want to take part in hunts, then it's a good idea to just tell us a few hours beforehand. So uh, when you are free, you have that invite waiting for you in your notifications tab. And uh, so, yeah, read, please read the pin message in, in Amity Hunter. We've got uh, basically what this is all about written down for you. And then we've got some, some rules here. Please uh, read the rules carefully as well. And then the thing at the bottom here, uh, we do have like an experience system uh, for rewarding people who regularly submit amities. And yeah, you basically get 100 experience for submitting amities and, and also for mapping out the nodes during the hour, we give extra experience there. And you know, it's a, it's a nice fun way to uh, spend your diluted mnemonics. You get XP, you get uh, new roles. And then, uh, there we go. Someone else has joined Amity Hunter party. And then uh, the second thing that is good for actually uh, that you may want to consider is that we actually give priority access to two groups of people. Uh, firstly, the if you get above a certain role, there is a leaderboard I can actually show you uh, for, in terms of uh, experience. So yeah, that's the other thing. If you like leaderboards, you can see uh, where you sit on the leaderboard. Uh, I did actually say the command. Here we go. So this is the current leaderboard. Uh, usual names uh, up at the top there, nice, nicely uh, helping out. Uh, yeah, so for busy Amity hours where people, you know, if it's like a 40% crit damage Amity, plus imagine some elemental damage, you know, everybody wants it, then we actually, we're going to control the party, we're going to give priority to uh, people who rank higher on uh, our Gillis leaderboard, who have contributed more to the community project. And then also uh, the second group of people that gain priority access is the Arisen or the Legends. Uh, that is people who support me financially, either Patreon or, or Twitch, for example. And to be honest, without uh, those people supporting myself, uh, there's no way Orna Legends would be where it is today. And there's no way this kind of project would really be going, um, most likely. At least maybe someone else would be running it, but uh, me probably not. So, yeah. Big thank you while I'm talking about them uh, to all the all the all the supporters, the Arisen Orna Legends, and uh, they also get access to priority priority queuing. And I do we do tend to kind of split it uh, side by side, but basically, yeah, during priority queue uh, happy hour, let's say, uh, if you do not have priority access and you join the party, we will be kicking you from the party. So um, it's not the perfect way to do it. Just that, that is what we're doing. You know, that's why this is one reason as well that we want people to, if they can, hunt early in the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so that if a nice amity is found, it gives people the time. Uh, you know, There are just more hour slots during the week for people to come and, and pick up their amity. That's basically it. If you, if you want to hunt, if you want to help hunt, like the best time is yeah, early in the week after reset, so like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, we make a new weekly th submission thread every week so if you don't know about threads like especially mobile it's not ideal but you go in the amity hunter channel uh, swipe uh, that way and then you can go to threads and we'll make a new submission thread every week and yeah it's a good place to to check the pins as well uh, and okay yeah this is like this is our bot gillis uh yeah smashing out the experience for the for the end of the week and then yeah so we just uh, you need to really make sure like which node you're going to ideally not just say what question it was so here van house yeah south uh the time slot but then the question and then of course the answer um 
yeah, that, ideally that is kind of what we're looking for. Uh, we will kind of, in the spreadsheet, we do try and track duplicates uh, as much as we can. And then again, if you are looking to actually uh, target one of the amities found in the spreadsheet, in the community spreadsheet, then it's, procedure is very similar. If, you, if there's a time slot with an amity that you want, again, come to the Amity Hunter channel, do the same process, ping Amity Warden, add us in game, let us know what time slot you're going for, which amity you want. If it's a popular amity, then yeah, please expect um please be patient with us if it's like uh not necessarily the most popular amenities then there's a good chance that it's going to be free or there's only going to be people like yeah, doing hunts so yeah please get involved again if you if you're someone who's like tier 9 or wants to help tier 9 players out to just run to run this thing like we can open up another uh channel for like tier 9 specifically or i mean tier 8 i don't know tier 8 tier 9 Tier 9, a lot of people do spend some time there, so it, it makes sense to do that. Um, yeah, if, if you want to help run that, you know, make a party and, 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 and manage uh, hundreds of people joining, then that would be great. I mean, there's one thing I want to say that over the last two or three weeks, we have helped literally hundreds of players upgrade their build um, instantly with like so much power that really never happens unless the build is unless northern forge uh, buff like do a crazy buff like uh for example the 40 percent crit effectiveness amity if you are a crit build it's literally adding 40 percent damage output to your build just like that okay uh the other one that we the other really good one is the plus 25 percent accessory effectiveness that affects the bonus stats on band of gods so all of a sudden you're getting like 10, 20, 30, 40% more orange. I haven't done the math, but it trust me, orange experience gold, it's all going up instantly. And um, there's really, yeah, we, we've had hundreds of players uh, come pick up these like S tier amities, you could call it. And the, <laughs> I don't want to end the video on something super passive aggressive, but a lot of those players haven't, uh, helped the like they haven't contributed to, to the spreadsheet at all like doing any hunts or anything like that so um you know it, it is actually noted uh, the people who help out and the people who only take and do not give i would really encourage you if you want to get involved with this um you know we're not going to turn people away unless <laughs> unless you're infamous uh, for whatever reason like now we're not turning people away but we definitely um, want to see people helping out as much as possible and you know during the busy hours you'll be at the top of the queue so yeah um, surely a 40% crit damage like literally increasing your your damage output by 40% instantly is worth a few diluted mnemonics to help out the rest of the community um, I don't know I don't know what else to say uh, I'm, I'm sure if you don't agree with me, then let me know in the comments. If you do agree with me, if you do agree with me, then also please let me know. And uh, yeah, in any way, I, I really hope this video was helpful. If you do have questions, of course, as always, please leave a comment. There is also a link to uh, like a written guide of Amity's as well, if that is something you prefer. In the description below, I will also link um, to the like the spreadsheet that we keep our well the research that we log all the all the different bonuses and malices and that does get updated when we find new things as well um i'm not going to link to the community amity hunter sheet because that's direct from the discord you can find that in Ornal legends discord link in the description as well and that's all i can think of for now i'm probably left something out but um yeah it's quite a big topic for a, an awesome piece of equipment that northern forge have brought to us I'm Shubash, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao.